All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, and this is your Week 7 Giants film review and a victory film review, only the second of the season. And I was there in attendance, which I am undefeated in Giants games, never lost. Um, defensively, this was a masterclass, and it wasn't even just like this great schematic stuff, right? It was basically just lining up and saying, we're going to be better than you, we're not afraid of you at all. And they went after their ass all game long. Offensively, you had the big plays, the Hyatt, some other good stuff off play action. Um, and yeah, over and I thought protection held up pretty well. Watch the offensive line report, Tyree Phillips. Um, but yeah, just uh, a really good defensive game offensively doing enough um, and being able to create explosives to get you down the field. Let's get into it first. Like and subscribe. I hate, I hate saying first, like and subscribe. You know what? Second, third, like and subscribe. All right, let's watch, let's watch this damn film. And I want to talk about the run game. And this is awesome. I might even just put this own clip out on social media. This run fit versus split zone. Right? Split zone. You'll see the tight end. You're going to see the tight end come across the formation, right? And the way the Giants fit this up is beautiful. And it puts so much trust in Dexter Lawrence, too. So it starts with Dexter Lawrence. You're going to give him two gaps. Meaning he needs to blo he needs to take care of this gap and this gap. And he actually gets kind of moved off the ball better than I've seen him. Better than I've ever seen anyone do it. But it still doesn't matter because the Giants get so aggressive in this run fit. So McFadden sees this, right? So the way that they are fitting split zone. And I didn't get to see split zone from, a, uh, from this alignment uh, later in this game. But I'm excited to see it in games going forward. McFadden's going to... McFadden's going to go and take inside of this, right? And Jihad Ward has the outside. He's, you know, levering this. But what's cool is you're letting Okereke get aggressive. Get Okereke aggressive downhill, right? And now, so every gap is accounted for. And then you have, uh, you know, Dex 2 gapping right here. But because you let Okereke get aggressive, bam, we're meeting him in the backfield. We're make, meeting him in the backfield, and we're getting a run stop. Good stuff. Next play, we got third down. We're going to get a sack. Giants are in a cover three blitz. Mike McFadden and Dex split a sack. So you got cover three, right? Deep. Deontay Banks is playing down here, which we'll see later in the game, but he's got deep thirds. You have the safety deep thirds. All right, so everything's covered. Good picking, uh, p good good job picking this up by Okereke because Banks doesn't just go and cover grass deep, and you have Kayvon as the as you know back here as a dropper. You're you're not going to get this ball here, and then the sack, the blitz, all beautiful. So one, you're going to see McFadden blitz does a good job, right? Getting through there, and then Dex just destroys our boy Nick Gates right a lot of practice against that guy rip through I mean, we're, we're winning rip through good footwork keep going keep the feet driving we're there we got Sean on the edge Jihad's even pushing the pocket a little bit Mike McFadden making, it, making sure it's a sack good stuff next play the first deep pass to Jalen Hyatt this is to me, wild by the commanders. Wild. The way that they do this. Down at the bottom of the screen. Good pass. Good stuff. First down. Big play on a third down. So again, this is third down. We'll start at the top right. So we line up in a 2x2 two two formation. And the commanders have their linebackers mugged up in the A-gap right here. So they have all across the line. So you're going to motion one down to a 3x1 uh, set. And the way they rotate their safeties is insane to me. It is insane because you just... They press up on Jalen Hyatt, right? And I was actually... And I'm at the stadium so I could see the safeties and it's third down I'm watching this, right? And I'm seeing this safety get over here on this hash. And I'm at this point, I'm thinking, oh, you got press up on Hyatt? Throw it to Hyatt, right? Control the safety and throw it to Hyatt. Right? But then they even rotate this safety down. They rotate this safety down to account for Saquon leaking out of the protection. 
and you've got all this grass. I mean, you you throw that to Jalen Hyatt ten times out of ten, and Hyatt is an alert, which is not really part of the progression. It's kind of usually just hey, you're clear in space. If you have if the coverage shows you something you like, you can throw it, but it's really not supposed to be part of the progression, right? It's third down. This is really what this area is what uh, Tyrod should be looking at if this safety plays over here, right? Like if this safety lines up right here, you're not even looking over here, but he does, and Tyrod sees it. I just controlled this safety enough, even though it doesn't really matter anyway. Safety never had a chance and puts a beautiful ball from him. See it from the back end. Again, they have this double, uh, uh, you know, this mugged up A gap look right here. You line up Saquon in front. So we have six for six one, two, three, four, five, and then Saquon with the linebacker six. Right? And I get, I get it. They bring this, I get you want to give attention to Saquon. They roll this safety down to give attention to Saquon. Because you have him, uh, this this uh, linebacker dropping out to help with Waller. And if Saquon goes out, you can just you know throw a little hot route to him. And the Giants have been working out of empty protections, right? So if Saquon's out here, I understand it. But then you could just turn this into a man or whatever. Saquon lined up like this. You're almost never going out into the route concept. Almost never, right? And especially when you're going to blitz this linebacker. So to me, that's just reckless, and it's over. It's over worrying about Saquon. Like to ha to be that disrespectful to Jalen Hyatt to me is like coaching malpractice, right? Like why hasn't Jalen Hyatt had some of those passes? Um, and pa since the Cardinals game, because defenses respect him. The co Commanders didn't. Now we're gonna get down to third down here in the red zone. Giants are running a screen, right? You're running this screen to Matt Breida. Not, we're throwing the ball to Jalen Hyatt, which we'll get to in a second. Ends up not being a catch. But again, throwing the alert. This is not part of the route progression. This is really not part of the play. This is a basically catch it and throw right here. Like maybe this is planned, right, to get them on this screen and you're throwing it here anyways. But regardless, because you do see Breida kind of do like a throw his hands. Like Breida, I don't, I don't know, maybe. But I, I really think this is just... Tyrod being a vet and throwing the alert to Hyatt when he gets this look. Right? And it's a good job he didn't throw it down here. They had numbers on it. They were going to stop it anyways. But the reason why I don't think it is, uh, I think it's an alert, because watch the tackles. We'll see it from the other angle. But again, you get that. You control the safety with your eyes. We'll see it. You control this safety with your eyes and then throw it. We'll see it better from the, better, uh, the other angle. Right? The reason why I do think it was an alert, because watch these tackles. They're just letting these guys get upfield. To me, that that tells me that they are running a screen, right? You cannot like Tyree Phillips and Justin Pugh. They're not idiots. Like, well, I mean, watch Tyree Phillips. Who ha well, again, watch the O-line report. Tyree Phillips had a good game. He's not stupid. I'm pretty sure that means that they were running a screen, and they just didn't want... Uh, they didn't want these guys, you know, or at least this end getting out here and trying to help on the screen. Just trying to get him as upfield as possible. But watch Tyrod Taylor. Eyes, bam, with that safety. Control him. Turn, throw it. Beautiful ball, right? And Hyatt almost gets that one-handed catch. Almost gets that one-handed catch. Not able to get it. But it would have been, but it's, it's, I like the idea behind that play because I don't think the screen was going to work. All right, we're back on defense. We got a third and seven. Cover one blitz. Great man coverage. Trey Hawkins undercuts it past breakup. This is training camp Trey Hawkins, right? This is as simple as it gets. We're blitzing. We got a single high safety, and we're pressing your ass up playing man coverage. This is just good man coverage all across the board. We got Banks down here. Press. Get in the hip. Flot does a good job. Press. Pinnock does a good job on the tight end. And then obviously Trey Hawkins, right? Get that hand out there and then fight for that inside leverage. Fight for that inside leverage. Run the route for him. Almost had an interception on third down. See, fight for that inside leverage. We're there. I mean, we ran the route for the guy. Catch that ball. And then you see the pressure. I mean, watch Dex. Work those hands. Get those hands off them. Keep the feet moving. 
Leonard Williams getting up front, up field, setting up the stunt for Kayvon. You got Jaha Ward lined up at defensive tackle. Karake's got responsibility with the back. Bam. One for 15 on third down. Command this. Uh, next play, on, not the next play, next play we're watching on defense. Uh, another third down, third and four. This is the Leonard Williams uh, stunt sack on cover two. Now, the Giants basically ran cover one all game and then a little bit of cover three. But this is, they actually do run cover two. All right, so you got the deep half safeties. Then one, two, you know, middle field player, curl hook, and then the flats. All right, so it's just good coverage. And again, the Giants really don't run cover two. They probably run it less than 5% of the time. All right, so you're probably thinking like this guy's going to get out of here, whatever. So, But you have this bracketed, right? Nowhere for him to go. Now, if the pressure doesn't get there, you've got this downfield. And this is where Pinnock has to see this and go. You have deep half. We're not playing cover four. You have deep halves. Go, go, go. Unless Banks mess this up and it's a cover six, which he would have that deep half. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's a true cover two because you want him covering the flats. It's third and four. Um, and then we'll see the, the, the stunt. I mean, we'll just watch Dexter Lawrence set the nose tackle clear out everything for Leonard Williams. Bam, sack for Leo. Make Martindale's favorite. But again, go, stab, shock. And you set this up, right, where you put these four players over here. So they're going to do a four-man slide, right? So you're going to do this four-man slide. Hey, and they want to help with Dex. Dex is great, right? So you get this four-man slide, and this left guard wants to help here. And it's all cleared out. Dex clears it all out. Dex occupies three players. And Leo down the pipe. Bam! Right on that old, that old school Giants logo. Big blue. Back on offense. What do we got here? Here's that uh, that RPO motion to Slant. Or to Slayton. Really good job by Slayton on this. Again, I think it's an RPO. It could be true play action. But the way Tyrod is reading this player right here. But again, you bring this motion that brings this player down. And then the run action keeps this linebacker frozen. Good job by Slayton avoiding contact, right? Because you see this guy wants to get physical. So kind of breaking off your route a little bit. And then getting behind him. Good job Tyrod keeping his eyes on it. Got this middle field open versus cover three blitz. Bam. Use the speed. Again, I think it's an RPO because you get the way Tyrod is reading these players. But also, these guys pass protect, so it might just be true play action. So maybe I'm wrong. Get some get some run after catch, yards after catch. Next play. This is um one of the sacks that was given up. This is an RPO. And you're trying to throw this to Sterling Shepard, and this could have been six. And they ended up getting six on the Darren Waller touchdown. But Shep just falls. Right? Good release. Bam. Good release. We're going to break this off. This is going to be six. Sterling Shepard's going to get a touchdown on throwback day. Right? You get this safety crashing down. You get the ex I mean, you get them trying to stop the run. First down. First and goal, you get the look you want. You've got a touchdown, and Shep just falls. And Tyrod, you just you got to dirt this because you, you get a sack, right? You're going to say, oh, well, Ty Tyree Phillips is, hey, he knows it's an RPO, so the ball's coming out quick, but if it's the ball's handed off, you're just trying to keep this player over here, right, working a hinge block backside. So for Tyrod, when you see him fall, you got to dirt it. Now it's a lot of it's got you got to be quick, right? Because you're at this point you're you're expecting him to throw this, but still that's obviously on Shep more than his tire. But I, I feel like you could dirt that, but nonetheless. But we get third and goal from the fifteen, and we get a Darren Waller touchdown in Giants blue. This is really good. It actually looks better from the back angle. 
But you've got these two high safeties. They are in cover two. So this linebacker is going to play the this middle of the field or this Tampa two. You run a smash concept right up here. So you occupy this line. This linebacker occupy, uh, gets occupied with this. The corner route takes occupies the safety, keeps them honest. And you put back shoulder on Waller. And it's I mean, that's just good football. Watch watch this route from Waller. It's subtle, but it's good. Watch this inside. Bang. Back shoulder. Great placement by Tyrod Taylor. But no one. See how you work this inside? I'm telling you, it may not mean much, but it means something. It means enough to get. It does mean a lot, actually. Right? Because if you just run this straight, right? If you just run this straight, he's going to turn his hips and he's going to run into you. But you keep him honest here, and that keeps this space between you. And I'm telling you, that can make the difference between a pass breakup or Tyrod even not even throwing the ball. Really good stuff from Waller, who was second in the NFL for tight end receiving yards after Travis Kelsey. All right, we're back on defense. What do we have? Uh, third and seven. We're going to get the Jason Pinnock sack. Again, just coming at their ass. Coming after them, right? We're going to line up everybody on the line of scrimmage. We're going to put one safety deep, and we're going to man up on you. So we're going to man up here. We're going to man up here. You're going to put motion. We're going to take inside leverage with Flot. Throw it. Where are you going to throw it? Where? Look, he's at the top of the drop. Where is he going to throw it? And he's getting hit. Just going after his ass. I mean, you end up technically sending eight guys on this, right? Let's look at it up front. Right? I know Simmons is not technically rushing, but he's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, seven guys. And just good blitz design, right? They're setting towards the mic. So they're going to, Gates is going to slide here. Dex and, hey, Dex is there, right? So you've got the back is scanning from Okereke to Pinnock. But Okereke is rushing free, right? So he's going to pick up Okereke. You're going to run a stunt here. So Leonard Williams is going to go occupy the tackle and the guard. So Kayvon's rushing free. And then you get Pinnock off the edge. Like, this is just good design, dude. This is good design coming after them, having no fear of this freaking, this offense. Just playing ballsy football. Next play. Okay, okay, run stop on counter. Just playing aggressive, playing fast, man. He was not playing like this the first five weeks of the season. He had moments of it, but he's consistently just playing fast and aggressive. Right? It's simple. They're running counter, so they're pulling their guard and their tackle. Right? But Kayvon has to play honest with the quarterback. But Okereke, instead of trying to bump over on this, just get in that hip and chase. Chase, let him tell you where it's going, and you make a run stop. I'd like you to make a better tackle, so it's a true tackle for a loss. I don't think they count this as a tackle for a loss, but a hell of a play, right? Jihad going and squeezing this down. McFadden filling. Make just making it a mess for them. Mc, uh, McKinney filling here. Like even if Okereke doesn't make this play, they're not gaining any freaking yards. Just good run defense. Next play. This is the Banks interception up top here. Just good instincts in zone. So Giants are in cover three, right? So you have Hawkins playing the deep third of the field, deep middle, and then Banks is actually this is all Banks' zone, right? But we never want to cut. We don't. Want, we're not here to cover green grass. We're here to cover a man, right? So Banks has no vertical threat right here, right? So don't just bail out to here for no reason and cover nobody, right? They're gonna do this block and release. Like, hey, let's help with this. Let's help right here. And Howell gets greedy, but Banks baits him into this, and maybe he doesn't bank him, uh, bait him into this, but and he reacts to the throw. But nonetheless, it's still a great play. So you have this crosser. Coming for this vacant zone because Deontay Banks is not covering it. You thought Banks, and again, this may be Banks like not seeing it and just reacting to the throw, keeping eyes on the QB, but still good, good instincts, right? He's Howell is seeing all this. He's saying, screw this middle of the field that's wide open. I want the chunk play. And just Banks flashes the athleticism. Not a great throw either. Catches the ball over the shoulder. Good stuff from Deontay. 
We got some pressure. Over the shoulder. That's a beautiful play. The picture of that is really cool. Back on offense. Giants ran this play last week versus the Bills. So if you watched last week's film review, you saw this. If you didn't watch last week's film review, this is new to you. And why are you not watching my favorite piece of content? Uh, Giants are running that Yankee concept, right? Where you got the deep post and then the crosser, right? If you've watched any film review, you've seen that. It's been their bread and butter. But we're play actioning and we're going to leak Waller out. We're going to leak Waller out to here. Right, and you see this safety, you see this linebacker, they want to stop the run. But that leaves Waller wide ass open. 16 yard gain. Yeah, the 20 yard gain on this last week. See it from the other angle. Again, see, watch this safety, watch these linebackers. And you have Bredesen wrap around to block this backside. Even though you're playing a dangerous game with that shit. You had a sack earlier in, uh, later in the game on this. Good stuff. Next play. This is a touchdown to Saquon Barkley. I'm so not exactly sure what this play is called, but it's kind of like the wave concept that they ran at Buffalo. Or you're getting to like a sail from the backside, right? So it looks like wave in the sense that you have Slayton on this post, and then you have these two crossing up right here. But on that wave, usually you would have a uh, high, high break this off here, right? He's getting down here. He's not going towards the end zone. But maybe with Hyatt, they do it like that. But nonetheless, you're occupying a ton of space, right? Where you have these three players who all have to be respected deep. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six defenders covering 10 yards or deeper, right? Which leaves Ballinger opening the flats and Saquon Barkley with a one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker and a lot of lot of open space in front of him able to break a tackle get in for six again good job by Tyrod hey they're covering everything deep move up in the pocket get the ball to Saquon on the run he's able to run through that tackle attempt and then you want what you you want to run towards the corner to try and get their momentum going and then take this inside track Sixth, and then good job by the All-22 cameraman. This is the longest I've seen a touchdown celebration uh, on All-22. Matt Breida, Isaiah Hodgins, Wondell Robinson, Sterling Shepard, slap hands, that guy. Here's going to be the Darren Waller tw uh, uh, explosive. Just David Mayo, no chance. Again, play action. We've got Slayton and Hyatt attacking. She leaves this zone open versus cover three, right? Because this defender's covering the flats. She leaves this zone open. Mayo turns his zone coverage into man, but he ain't hanging with the boy Darren Waller. And again, it goes into like one of those, a backside sail, right? Deep. You know, it's a three-level read. Deep, middle, short. Nice ball by uh, Slayton, or Slayton, Tyrod Taylor. Big play. Back on defense. Let's watch another sack. Let's watch another sack between Dexter Lawrence and Kayvon Thibodeau. Again, trying to work a stunt, right? And then Dexter just gets outside on the tackle, Wiley. And wins. Watch the strength. Watch that inside the strength of that inside hand. Get this dude off balance. I guess he trips him up, but still. Get to the quarterback. Jihad gets free on the on the stunt. And then Kayvon just winning around the corner. Work hands off of you. Get around that corner. Sack. Good stuff. Back on offense. If you guys watched that uh, last week's breakdown of that video I put on social media, that shock concept, they ran it 11 times last week. Here it is again. I just wanted to show that they're running it where you have uh, the hitch out here with Saquon. You're going to have uh, the slot fade with uh, Slayton. 
and then the stick with a wall or you can do it whatever backside now there is something and we talked about it on the video last week when you get middle field open with these two deep safeties instead of turning into a fade you want to break this in you want to break this in to you know uh, occupy this player Tyrod throws the stick almost gets the first down short by a yard Back on defense, another sack, Dexter Lawrence. Let's watch him. Let's watch him go to work on Nick Gates. Pretty simple, just an ass kicking. Violent hands, get underneath his arms, bam, work him off. Look at that footwork, rip through. Look at the speed on that. Look at look at the way that big man moves. And then again, let's watch Kayvon on the outside. Work hands off of you. Get around the corner. Isaiah Simmons getting around the corner. Another sack. Just going after them all, all game long. Here's just a great run fit for zone, uh, a zone run, right? Nothing crazy, but just a great job from everybody, starting with Leonard Williams. Just playing fast and free. Watch Leonard Williams. Get underneath him. Shock him. I mean... Again, raise his pad level. Keep your feet moving. You're screwing it. Let's watch Dexter Lawrence. Let's watch him jack up the right guard. How about that? We watch that. Let's watch Bobby Okereke get downhill. Not allow this player to get to him. Can we watch that? Let's watch Michael McFadden do the same thing. Let's watch him freeze up Nick Gates and then dip that. Good stuff. Back on offense. What do we have here? This is a sack. This is uh this could have been a nice chunk play with Jalen Hyatt. This was one of the few bad Tyree Phillips. Actually, not even maybe this is D. Right? So your running play action is that concept we saw before, right? Where you have the deep post here and then these two crossing up. And you had Hyatt. You had Hyatt. And if you didn't have Hyatt, you know, you could have gotten to this block and release on Bellinger. Now, Bellinger kind of maybe, I won't say for sure, but kind of messes up this block and release, right? Because he doesn't even really get a piece of him. But still, if Tyree, if, if Tyree does a better job on this, and again, it's not the worst block ever by Tyree Phillips. Like, like you do get him around the corner at, at eight or nine yards. Like, maybe you can just check it down to Bellinger. But if not, right, if this block is better and Tyrod's at the top of his drop, I mean, he's just throwing this and you got Hyatt. You got a nice big play for Hyatt, and who knows how many yards you can get yak-wise. And then last offensive play, another deep pass to Hyatt, right? We're going to run stutter and go. We got a two-man round, essentially, even though the, you know, the tight ends block and release out into the flats. Stutter and go. And again, just to me, disrespectful covers to Jalen Hyatt. You rotate this safety. Look at this safety. He's not even on the hash. He's left of the hash. And look, you leave all of this. I don't care if he's in fucking off coverage. That's To me, that is disrespectful coverage to Jalen Hyatt. It's disrespectful. And Tyrod and Jalen do it. So again, you run the stutter and go. See that just that stutter is just enough to get him the bite. And you're gone. Like, you've won at this point. And you see Tyrod doesn't even need to look over here. He's just, hey, I just want to make sure you're honest, even though you are not getting over to that side of the field. And look at all that separation. Great catch by Jalen Hyatt. Good toe, to, uh, toe drag swag. Right? Like, Tyrod just gives a little check. Now he's like, I'm keeping this safety honest. Let me turn. Puts a ball on him. Big play for the Giants. And then we're going to finish the game off on defense. Right? This is a, a successful play for the Commanders. This is that pass that uh, Pringle had. Basically, the only success they were able to get in the end of the game was on rub routes or moving uh, Howell out of the pocket. And if I was Brian Dable, I'd be talking to the rest before the Jets game and knowing because you're going to, I think they're going to try and attack Zach Wilson somewhat similar. 
And the Jets are going to try and run rub routes and say, hey, watch for the offensive pass interference. Because this isn't really a rub route. This is just offensive pass interference. They're running the scissors. I mean, in this player, there's, I mean, that's offensive. I mean, he pushes him. But you have to be, like, ready for that type of stuff because they're going to try and run that. And you get Pringle just wide up in the middle of the field. And that's one of the downsides of playing man coverage is teams can do that to you. So now we got fourth down. We got this. We got no safeties deep. We got this cover zero look. And the commanders were working uh, the rub routes. And commanders do a good job adjusting off of that. By showing that they're going to run a rub route, right? Trying to get this wheel route. But Terry shows it. Bank pops over here and is just open. Right? Even though. Howell can throw this, All right? But Banks is checking in on this, and he knows he has Okereke over here in the flats as they come after him. And I, I'll say, as much as happy as I am with Okereke, right? And you're getting this pressure here. Maybe you can call holding on this shit, maybe. But anyways, if, I'm, if you're Okereke, you got to see those eyes. You got to turn. I know you're working to where he is. Turn your head and see where you're going, because he may inter he may pick this off. If he looks where he's going. But you see how. See where we are. And we're floating behind this line. Maybe if you just. See this. You just turn your hips and run underneath it. Because you know that pressure is getting there. And I'm telling you that could have been a pick six. Or maybe I'm expecting too much. and From my couch. Straight off the couch. Justin Pugh. Um, third and five. Right. They're trying to tie the game up. Third and five. Again, Giants line up in a cover zero. Look, we have all these players down here, and then we've got birds on a line, right? One, two, three, four. So, Howell is expecting guys to drop back out here, right? And Kayvon does. So, you're not expecting a true cover zero rush. You know, you get damn near on it. So, he throws the alert to Terry McLaurin. He's like, at least he knows, hey, at least I know I'm getting one-on-one -on -one coverage on this route. And I get it. It's Terry McLaurin. The Giants are lucky that he did that. Good coverage by Banks. All right, playing that inside leverage. Bad throw by Hal. They're lucky. Because the Giants are running this cover zero, but just having Kayvon cover the back. And I'm almost... I, 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 I always hesitate to say this guy totally screwed this up sometimes, especially in coverages, because you can throw different stuff. I am fairly confident that McKinney is covering this, right? He's got his eyes on this man coverage. I think Cordell Flott just does... What is Cordell Flott doing? Unless they are doing... Because it's a switch release that they're switching their coverage, right? And McKinney should pick this off and Flott should be taking this. But Flott doesn't even take this, right? And I thought maybe this is some type of zone, right? That's some type of fire zone. But I, don't, I really don't think so. Because everyone else is... I mean, you got... Look, we got man, man, man. It looks like McKinney's, man, you know, manning up... Uh, you know, this tight end with the way his eyes are on him. You know, and McKinney obviously reads and reacts to it. But I'm pr and I've seen Flop bust some coverages, right? And not always be taken advantage of. I'm fairly confident that Flop is supposed to be chasing this. And if Howell does not throw the alert, they, they, they tie the game up. Or they're going for two. So now you got fourth and five. Again, you're going to give another cover zero look, right? We got all these guys down the line. No true safety. But then you put McKinney uh, up here. You would expect him to be covering the back, and he does. And look, see? We're playing man coverage. And, and you know, maybe do some switch release on this. Banks is covering this. Where you pick up the drag route right here. I don't necessarily know if this is some type of zone I, ha I haven't seen. But this is not great right here. This is not great when you got manned up here, manned up here. And I get you got a free rusher. And you, you end up forcing a bad throw. And this is the other part. Right? So they're, they're going to go out of empty. So five versus six, right? So you do have a free rusher. Isaiah Simmons, man, you got to finish this play. You cannot let Sam Howell do that to you. 
Ends up throwing it behind him. Giants get a little lucky. And they win the damn game. So, uh, good good game, for, uh, good game for the defense. Offensively, um, you're able to get some explosives and do enough to win. Uh, it'll be interesting to see you play the Jets, who are have a, a much better defense, but uh, also probably a worse offense overall, right? Especially when the way the Giants are going to play. So we'll we'll see how it all goes. But good for the Giants to get a victory, especially with me in attendance. Never lost, undefeated. Appreciate you guys again. Like and subscribe to the channel. Of a mailbag out tomorrow talking all things Giants. We appreciate you. Let's go big blue.